and then all of a sudden it stops and then it spins in the other direction. Crazy. Today we unbox 12 incredible twisty puzzles, which you might have noticed I've actually partnered up because each pair has something very unique in common, which you'll soon find out. But as always, before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. So what these first two puzzles have in common is that they are both cylindrical. Well, sort of. This guy here is the Fansin Nautilus puzzle. <laughs> I mean, for starters, the color scheme, right? That is pretty, oh boy, I did not realize it was three layered. This is going to be harder than I thought. Okay, so obviously you can turn it this way, but is this the only line of symmetry? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what have I done to this thing? Oh my gosh, what did I just make? It's a donut and uh, lips. I actually don't fully get how this puzzle turns because it looks like you can only do like 180 degree turns around like that X axis. Like none of the other ones actually form a straight line. But I'm too chicken to actually scramble the whole thing to find out if there's more. What I'm not chicken about though is scrambling this guy whose name, and I'm not making this up, is the two layered cheese puzzle. <laughs> like seriously, I guess it could look like this little, you know, lump of cheese. Oh boy. This one can be scrambled in all sorts of crazy ways. Now confession, I have no idea how to solve something like this. Let's see if I can just get like one side green and one side blue. So, oh wait, I think I know how. You just bring these two up over there and then when you bring it back, voila, yay, I solved it. I totally solved it. Actually, I got, the, I got these two. Just need to move these four around. Did that do anything? Ooh, I got this one. <laughs> no idea how, but cool. This looks like kind of puzzle that like trial and error would allow you to figure it out, which I'll do another time. Cause it's time for the next pair. It's time for the pyramids. This guy even has a pyramid thing there. What was that for? This guy. <gasps> <laughs> it's so cool. Yo, this is even cooler than I expected. This is the mirror pyraminx. Oh gosh. I'm never gonna be able to solve this if I scramble it. So this of course takes its inspiration from the mirror cube, which, you know, just like that one. If you scramble it, completely shape shifts as well. Fortunately, this is a three by three. And so this isn't terribly hard to solve if you know how to solve um, a, uh oh. Whew. A three by three. It just goes based on shape and not by, you know, color. But despite its appearances, this guy isn't actually a normal pyraminx. Can you see the difference? Normal pyraminx, for example, has like, you know, one, two, three, four, five pieces down that bottom layer. This guy has three, which means it's actually far more similar to the Jinx pyraminx. And unfortunately, I have no idea how to solve a Jinx pyraminx. Apparently it's not too hard. But, oh gosh, do I scramble it? Do I scramble it? Do I scramble it? Oh, you came to see me scramble it, didn't you? <laughs> I am amazed at how it still manages to align, even when <laughs> I'm so full of regret. What have I done? And the second in these pair of puzzles, another pyramid -y puzzle. So this is a pyraminx, but it only has two sides. So it is like a regular pyraminx. You see those like five pieces down the bottom, except <laughs> it only has two colors. Oh my goodness. Now I do know how to solve a pyraminx. So if I scramble this, oh gosh. Theoretically, I should be able to, um, <laughs> can't even speak. Look at this thing. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's get this white side done first. I believe these two are correct. So that's now right. I can face all these, wait, this way? Nice. Okay, so I've got this like radioactive sign. That's totally right. So this bit should go down in there like that. And then same for here. Yep. And then it should be a curvy bit in here. Hey, that's not too bad. Yo, am I nearly done? Is it just these two that need to swap? I think it's this. Oops, nope. Oh, is that it? <laughs> All right, I might have just gotten lucky there, but there you go. This was actually pretty fun. I should also say that there's a three by three version of the Penrose Pyramids, the Penrose Cube, which is, oh, let's not scramble it. <laughs> 
which is similar to this, except it's uh, it's got three sides, this guy. Uh, and it's a challenge as well, but also equally very fun to solve. And hey, now's actually a great time for me to tell you all about this video sponsor. If you're watching this video, you probably have an interest in cubing and therefore want to know where you can get cool puzzles like the 12 that I'm unboxing in this video. Well, sit tight because I'm going to blow your socks off. Daily Puzzles is a one-stop shop for everything cubing. They have over a thousand puzzles available, stocking every major brand you would ever want with new products added weekly. And get this, they've recently reduced international shipping by up to 40%. So locations like the US, Canada, Europe, and Asia can enjoy the same fast shipping, but at cheaper prices. If you want to know whether they deliver to your country, just head to their website. Oh, and super important fact, using code TINGMAN at the checkout will not only give you a great discount, discount, but is an easy way to support my channel and videos such as these. Even if it's your first time, consider checking them out. I'd really appreciate it. Our next two paired puzzles are these, are these bad boys. Now, if you thought that cheese puzzle had a weird name, man, you ain't seen nothing yet because this guy is called Vladdy's Seed Puzzle. Okay, you might be thinking, well, it looks like a seed, so fair enough, but this one, let's open them both. A close cousin of this puzzle, as you can tell, is called Vladdy's Evil Seed Puzzle. Like, why? Let's start with the regular seed. I've actually never turned one of these before. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it looks like it has three axes of symmetry. In my mind, that really doesn't look that hard. Let's just scramble and see if, if I can solve it. I just solved it. Am I missing something? Okay, the seed puzzle is not difficult. Now, what makes the evil seed evil? So it turns just like that other guy, right? But, okay, that's what makes it evil. Yo, that is evil. What's what's with the circle? Is that the, the, the eye, the evil eye of the puzzle? Yo, if I scramble this, I'll probably never get it back. But hey, no pain, no gain. So let's give it a turn. Wait, I can't even turn it. Is that why it's evil? Because I can't turn it. Okay, I can turn it like this, all right? And then, yep, can I turn it again now? What? It's not allowing me to turn the two halves. Oh wait, no, no, now I can. Oh, 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 this is bad. This is bad. Are there rules with like what allows it to turn what doesn't? So like, look, I can't turn it now, but if I turn this, I can. That is so confusing. This really is evil compared to that. Do I even stand any chance of solving it? Oh, hey, I got that. I mean, that's kind of cool. Yeah, nah, I'm nah, nah, nope. That is a nope. Thank you, seed and evil seed. I'm gonna plant you somewhere so you can grow a tree and an evil tree. We're halfway through our pairs, guys. Want to know what these partners have in common? Well, they both come in a box. Har, 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 I'm so funny. But, but seriously, seriously, check out their shape. So this guy, ho, 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 ho. and this guy. Now you might be thinking, hang on, these two puzzles are not the same shape. The blue face over here forms like a diamond and the blue face over here forms like um, a square. But wait, 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 wait. What if I hold it? What if I hold it like this? Huh? Are you seeing it now? They are actually the exact same shape. So this guy over here is called the Lafan Moyan Cube. And the truth be told, I don't actually know how it turns. I'm guessing, yeah, there you go, okay. So <laughs> that makes no difference to it right in its current state. How else do you turn it? Can you turn this side? Um, oh, oh, oh no. That is bad news, that is bad news. Oh no, the middle piece turns as well. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Undo, undo. Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. <laughs> okay, so it's got three layers. I guess that sort of makes it like a three by three, doesn't it? But then you can turn it and then, oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Whew. Who invents these things? This puzzle is insane. It is really, really cool. Don't get me wrong, but oh, wow. I reckon I could do it, but oh, it's gonna take me ages. That would definitely have to be like in a different video. Oh, let, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let, let's make the checkerboard pattern. Hey, look at that. That is pretty. It reminds you a lot like a circus tent, actually. Boop, 
Let's put you over there and pick up our land land 3x3 diamond cube. So just like the other guy, oh, you can really see the diamond shape right there. So it's got that beautiful geometry to it. And despite it looking so crazy, I mean, it's called a 3x3 diamond cube because it is a 3x3. Can you see how? If I hold it this way, right, left, and the middle layer, and then same for top, bottom, and that middle layer, and then of course, front and back, it is actually a three by three. It's just the centerpieces have four colors in them and they're super, super spiky. But yeah, it's essentially this guy. So, you know, bottom layer, and that's the bottom layer right there. It's one and the same, sort of. You know what? I'm gonna make a separate video on this because I've got another diamond cube that's sort of coming in the mail. And yeah, I wanna, I wanna compare them side by side and maybe try and solve both. Ooh, it's gonna be so beautiful. Our next two puzzles are star puzzles. Well, I mean, this one's 100% a star. As you can see right here, what? Right here, there we go. Man, the way they've done like the cross cuts on this star is really confusing me. So, <laughs> yep. So this star, believe it or not, is also a three by three by three puzzle. So can you see three layers there, right? And then nine, it's, yeah, it's just a regular Rubik's cube, which means in theory, oh, that's trippy. That looks like it's the same, which means in theory, I should be able to, oh, oh gosh. Ah, um, that's not good. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> I literally can't even remember what the shape of the star. Ooh, ooh, I got, I got a bit of it. Oh, I got the star, I got the star. Woohoo, I got one layer of the star. Okay, time lapse for the second layer. Oh boy. Well, that took me a lot longer than I like to admit, but that's the second layer done. And now just the top. That's not flat. Oh, this could be a flipped edge. Does that solve it? Yeah, okay, okay, let's try that again. There we go, much better. Love it. Okay, I've oriented the top layer, which means that they're all flat now and I just need to do the correct PLLs, except I don't even know what's facing what. Okay, so these two corners are line, which we call headlights. So let's do a T-perm over here. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. So now all that's left is these two. What? That makes no sense. It needs to be three, not two. Wait, are these two pieces the same? <gasps> hey, maybe they're the same. Ooh, does it mean that I should be able to... What? Now this guy's wrong and this guy's flipped. <laughs> no. This happened to me the last time I was trying to solve one of those weird like three by three mods. I'm just getting these like weird sort of like cases in the top. I am gonna hold it this way and say I solved it. Yay. Okay, here's another star shaped puzzle that I am very excited about because if you didn't know already, I'm a bit of a fan of fidget spinners. Oh, yes. Do you remember which year fidget spinners were popular? Ah, do you remember which year fidget spinners were popular? Write in the comments, because I cannot remember. Yo, this is like a pure rainbow. That is very cool. Red, blue, orange, white. Why would you, if yellow has to be there, then, you know, green, blue, purple, and then maybe gray at the end. Although somehow when I spin it, it gives me that like rainbow illusion. I am a fan. Okay, here goes nothing. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, that's cool. That's annoying. <laughs> that looks so interesting. Whoa, check that out. That looks unreal. I love the illusions that like spinning things make when it looks like it only goes like, it changes direction. Cause I'm fully spinning it this way, right? Look, and it looks like it's going that way. And then all of a sudden it stops and then it spins in the other direction. Crazy. And when it slows down enough, it's only <laughs> like what? Wow. Science. I love science. What happens if you do this? <laughs> it's a butterfly. It's the evolution of butterflies. Can I still spin it? Yes. This is so satisfying. Okay, so these puzzles are apparently quite easy to solve. Let's see if I can let's give it a quick scramble. Okay, first let's get all the yellow. Okay, I'm seeing now that those little pieces are gonna be problematic. Can I turn them on their own when they're like this? 
No, I cannot. Him. Okay, whatever. So let's just go bit by bit. Okay, so I've already got gray, purple, purple, green. Ooh, that's all right. And then this just needs to be red. So I'm bring it over here. Sweet. And then this. Done. I got all the side colors. And <laughs> what? How do you fix them? Okay, trial and error. Trial and error. Trial and error. Did that do it? Nope. Trial and error. Nope. I changed nothing. I am leaving it. Not because I can't solve it, but because I just don't want to make this guy feel, you know, left out. If all the puzzles have like a small little thing wrong with them, then really none of them have anything wrong with them. And pair number six, I don't even need to tell you what they have in common because I mean, hopefully you can see for yourself this. <laughs> so great. It's like someone wedged a two by two into a three by three. So this guy I believe is called like the mirror Siamese cube. It's literally like a two by two wedged into a three by three, but not a regular three by three. It's of course like the mirror block with um, uneven layers. And even same for the two by two, it's uneven as well. Oh my gosh. So, I mean, it's just a three by three. It in theory should be easy to solve, but let's open this guy because check it out. It's almost like the inverse of the other guy. If <laughs> this one has like this bulging, like, you know, two by two corner over there. And this one has like, it's completely in inverted. Wow. I love the fact that it's a different color as well, that it's like gold inside the silver like case. It is so, so pretty. It is such a simple idea to like blow it up or to like invert it, but oh, it's so pretty. Do I scramble it and solve it? I don't know. Okay, tell you what, let's flip this two-sided die. If it lands white side up, then I will solve this guy. And if it lands like red down, then I'll solve this guy. Wait, what? I mean, red side up. Okay, here we go. What's this? I'm gonna say it's more red up. Here we go. Regret, regret, regret. Regret, so much regret. I mean, that's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> like the mirror dimension, it's so cool. Let's solve it. Let's solve it. Um, there we go. That's one side down. Okay, so the two golden centers are there, which means... Very nice. That's two layers of this base completed and I just need to fix that guy. So I think it's this. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, nice. That's the second layer done. Let's fix this top layer now. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, look at that. I've got my little cube. Okay, so that's right and right and that's all right, which means that's a, that's a JA. Because these two need to swap and these two need to swap. I can't remember my JA very well with... Oh, I'm going to try and do a lefty JB. Oh boy. Wait, 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 wait. How do you do it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it! <laughs> I really didn't expect that to work. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. Woohoo! That's so pretty. That was a lot of fun. And as tradition states, it's time for the awards ceremony. The most difficult puzzle, in my opinion at least, is gonna go to the evil seed. I mean, it's called evil. Although knowing me, I'm probably gonna like muck around with it after this video and solve it in like two minutes, but hey. Winning the most brilliant puzzle award, ugh, it's gotta be the Moyan cube. I mean, the axes of symmetry on this thing, the many ways that you can turn it. Oh my gosh. But my favoritest puzzle of all, the one that I enjoyed solving, definitely has to be this guy. Not only is it a sight to behold, but it was extremely fulfilling to solve. And who knows, I might have felt the same way about that guy. But hey, that was the roll of the dice. This is the one that wins. Tell me in the comments which was your favorite puzzle. And who knows, I might give it to you. Okay, I probably won't give it to you, but you know. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot to include this in the final thing. Oops. Oh well, it wasn't going to win any awards anyway. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe. Bye.